really good job on taking that guard out. No, seriously, you did good. Now let's see if we can find anything. So, first of all, before I show you anything, I'm going to take the magazine out by pressing this button right here. It's called the mag release. Okay. I'm also going to make sure that the gun is clear by racking the slide a couple times to make sure that there's nothing in the chamber. Okay, we're clear. All right. So, our gun is clear. The safety is right here. Okay. Now I'm going to press the trigger to let the hammer up. Now there is another way we can do this by decocking it, but this is faster. Okay. Now the hammer's up. Now that our gun is clear, Let's load up a magazine. Let's take the ammo box. This is Federal Ammo. Full Metal Jacket. 45 ACP. 230 grain. Now as you can see, this is 45 ACP. Let me tap it against the gun so you can really hear how big this thing is. Now, we're going to place the 45 into the mag and we're going to press down. Alright, there's one and I'm only going to load one for now. And we place it into the bottom of the gun, also known as the magwell. And make sure you really, really get it in good. Now I am going to take it back out, just because it's safer to not have a live round when demonstrating. Now I'm going to put the empty mag back in. Now that we have that, we are going to rack the slide. And now, as you can see, the slide is locked back. Now this is because I didn't actually put a bullet in, because that would be a little dangerous. But if I were to have put one in, then we could have racked it. Now the reason I didn't want to put one in is because I wanted to show you properly how to reload. Now. Once your gun is like this, and you've got the slide locked back, what you want to do is that after you put your mag in, you want to put your thumb on this little lever right here. This is called the slide release, or the slide lock. If you do this, the slide will go forward. And now, you are ready to fire. Now, the way a gun works, is that whenever you pull this trigger, the hammer will go up. Now this will hit the back of the bullet, called the primer. When the primer is hit, and all the gunpowder inside will ignite. Once this happens, the gunpowder in the bullet will expand gas. And all that expanded gas builds up pressure. And whenever that happens, the top part, the bullet right here, 
will go fly now. And it's the barrel of the gun that projects it. Now whenever this happens, the slide, due to the force of the explosion, will lock back, ejecting the casing. And here we have a spent casing right here. As you can see, the primer has been hit, and there's no bullet in the top. Let me give you an example of the two and how they sound. This is a non-fired bullet, and this is a casing. Once the casing is ejected, the slide will go forward again in the blink of an eye. And when it does this, it'll take another bullet from the magazine, and you are ready to fire again. There you go. That's pretty much all you need to know. There is one thing I will talk about, is when you get a malfunction. Now, I will purposely make this gun malfunction by placing a bullet right into the slide. Or should I say a casing? Now, as you can see, the bullet is stuck, or the casing. This is what we call a stovepipe malfunction. Whenever this happens, easy fix. It is called tap and rack. You want to tap the magazine to make sure it sends correctly. Turn it to the side, pull the slide back, and rattle it out. And then you're good to go. Now there is another called a double feed, which you will need to remove the magazine for. But it's one of the more rarer ones. And it's usually only when your magazine is bad or perhaps your gun isn't lubricated. Alright, now shooting is going to be a different part, and I'm honestly going to have to teach you that later, but for now, at least you know the basics. So if we get into a pitch, you know how to use this thing. Alright, and that's all you need to know. Now, let's see if we can find some food so we don't have to resort to cannibalism.